Hello, I am Gold Chocobo and I'm redoing this Blender tutorial because uh, before I was uh, I was ill with a cold and I was really stuffy. Anyway, uh, I've this is Blender and when you open the Blend files, which will be in the description uh, below, the, the link will be in, in the description. Uh, you can use that, or I think there's some in the Ferrohart forums that have been re-uploaded, which I don't approve of, but whatever floats your boat, I prefer to use the originals. Anyway, this is what you uh, what you see when you open up uh, the Blender files. I've chosen the feline one because I prefer it. Now it does look a bit confusing with all these things here and the bones and everything. Now what you want to do first off is drag this down because it takes up too much space. Just middle mouse button just to move it down. Now you have to right click to select things in Blender. So you right click the bones here and they turn blue. You've got a little button down here that says X-Ray. You can turn that on and off to see the bones or not. Now here you want to right click and split areas onto this section here. Roughly about here is where I usually split it. Here uh, you want timeline so you can see what you're doing. You scroll with the middle mouse button to the record button here, like uh, just like a normal record thing. Add and replace keys so you can actually add and replace them. Uh, this grey, big grey square, you can uh, usually get rid of it if you get uh, view and automate. No, not that one. Uh, use group. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I usually just um. There we go. Show sh show sliders. But here's all the bones up to here. You've got the main one, which is here. It'll move you up and down. Or you've got the spine one, which uh, won't work in that one. It's uh, this one, which will move the spine back and forth. There's that kind of thing. Now it's in this default pose here, which it always loads up in. It's uh, what you usually see if you load the item model into the uh, objects uh, objects um, creator thing. But if you scroll over here, you can find almost all of the actions. Now there are some missing, and again, I'll put them in the description. But for now, let's select idle. It's the default idle in all its glory. Now again, you can always press the x-ray button to get rid of the bones so you can better see your animation. And if you press this little hand icon, you can get rid of the, um, the uh, circles so you can actually see. That's what I do anyway. But for now, let's stop this. Now, we can change the animation however we want. Usually, from here on, if I scroll over to here, I select a heading time and I just press the delete button and erase selected so it gives me a clean slate. So it'll just there. It the um weight scaling is still on, so it does have that little funny bloop going on, but can't really help that. Now what we can do with this is like we said, we can just do what we want. It's a little playground of experimentation so I'm going to raise the head up bring it down a bit as in you know breathing motion and to copy keys you first you press the shift button to select more keys and you can either press alt alt no not alt d well shift d there you go shift d and that brings them back here it's up to 24 frames I think so. also if you press keep a hold of shift while you move the keys up and down it locks them in place yeah it's about 23 there we go and so the head moves up and down it's a bit weird but that's because it's not uh, properly aligned about there. There you go. Usually with um, idle animations I, I uh, just bring bo both feet back a bit just because it 
it doesn't look very nice. I, I don't think it looks very nice when it's um all wonky. I, that's just a personal preference. You can change it if you want. It's all up to you. It's your animations. You do what you want. So we're just gonna. Uh, my buttons on my numpad do not work at the moment. I don't know what I've done to them. But usually, uh, pressing the one on the numpad brings you to the front. I think or the side. Pressing a three does the same thing, and pressing seven brings you up top. You can also press control and you get the reverse. So if I if one brings you to this side, uh, shift one brings you to this side. It's that kind of thing. It helps with animating, uh, getting limbs to line up when you're um, trying to make an animation that requires both limbs to move forward. For now, though, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do a, s a simple idle animation. Maybe make the tail swoosh a bit. So I'm gonna go all the way down here to where it says tail, and gonna start the swoosh about here. Gonna go up. And move it, move the uh, little where the um, keyframe will go. Cause these are called keyframes. One over, and again, and again, again, and last one here. Now I'm just gonna be lazy like I usually am. It's a lot easier and duplicate all of these here. Well not exactly there but and just bring them up. I'm always I'm pressing shift as I do this so I can select and move them uh, uh, move them along. So now you've got this little swoosh what I can do though is do that and it might mm. it's all about um, having an eye for animation and all the rest of it seeing what works, what doesn't just simple things like that I think that looks better now Looks like it's actually moving it. Now some of the meshes uh, on the on the uh, here, they're um, actually not connected to to the actual body mesh mesh here. The, uh, the tail one is a big one, so sometimes if you put the tail too far down, you can get an ugly looking uh, cylinder there. Uh, so be wary of that if you want to keep it natural looking. It's the same with the canine mesh, same with the ears. If I get the ears here, they can just almost rip off, really. But yeah, this is um, your basics. Since so many people were uh, harking on about it last time, I'm going to teach you how to actually export this kind of thing. Now, you want X-ray on for this, just so you can select both the mesh and the skeleton, otherwise it won't work. Now, I'm no good at explaining how to install the exporter. The link in, in the description will tell you how to do this. It's how I taught myself. I will not be able to help you because I will not be able to explain it. Now, with that out the way, uh, you go into scripts. This might crash, so... I'm not going to save here, but you have to save uh, or, or you'll lose all your work like I have done before. And export Ogre Meshes. Uh, I think this is okay. Game Materials. Skeleton to skeleton name to follow mesh. This isn't really necessary, but um, it's uh, you can do it if it's. Um, actually works, it never works for me. Um, here is, uh, I shouldn't say the confusing part, but it has uh, trumped me a couple of times because I don't input the right numbers. Basically, uh, this is the start of your animation and this is the end. 
Now, the end of our, our an idle animation is 24, and this says 20. So what you do is you put 24 in it. And with that done, you export. It will go through all the animations that are there. So you just have to wait and hope that it doesn't crash. There we go, all of them. Now don't worry about the red and the yellow, it still works fine. Okay, now you have to go into your, wherever your uh, uh, mesh converter is. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Uh, you want the skeleton, you do not want the mesh. If you put the mesh in through first, then you won't be able to uh, convert the skeleton, but you don't need the mesh. It just converts. It, it just puts it there anyway. Anyway, you just drag it onto the XML uh, converter, place it. Does a little black box. You've got the dot skeleton here. What you do is copy it. Go all the way through Feral Hearts onto Models, Paste, Copy and Replace, and there you go. And we can go into Feral Hearts and see what it looks like. There we go. It's the, the new uh, idle animation. I just done idle. It's obviously a lot slower in game than it is out uh, in the, in Blender, so you have to keep that in mind. The run is a lot quicker than in Blender, so keep that in mind when you're doing uh, run animations. I um, think the walk is quicker, same as the run, but the idle, all the sits and lays, they're slower than in Blender, so keep that in mind. Uh, now, how to actually add animations, what you want to do is where, where you've got all, all this here, add new, and you copy it, uh, you, you name it, sorry, so this is going to be called curl idle, and you just basically do as you would. It always copies the animation that was on, that was loaded last. So be mindful of that. But uh, that's all I've got to teach you, really. There's nothing more that you can't learn by yourself, so experiment um, a lot. Look up uh, how animals move if you're looking for a specific animal. If you're looking for fantasy stuff, try and still get references for that. Uh, all links will be in the description. Please remember that before asking. Please look at them before asking any questions. Uh, thank you.